call the youth that was supposed to, all the people that was supposed to. Someone in the US. I don't know, that's a one way. Eight. What is he doing? Turn left. Yeah. Turn left. Hello, everybody. It's been crazy. Trust me. Crazy. I want to come live from 12 midday. Jesus. Turn left on McLean Avenue. Oh. Then turn left on Central Park Avenue. From 12 midday, I want to come from this live. I'm gonna know what kind of sign this. There are other things that happened to me before I come from this live. I swear, people, I don't want to believe it. So, no, I am. I have to be on the road because I'm heading to the airport. So, it's like I'm feeling like I'm disappointing people because everybody texting me. Everybody, but somebody, someone must turn off my thing, you know, because I don't want nobody with them negative energy over here. But should I turn off my, my, my comments then? Sorry, sorry about the waiting. Somebody said I'm a wait. Somebody said I'm going to turn off my comments them because I'm afraid of them. And them dirty comments that I'm all come with. Anyway, as you can see, I'm on the road. Okay, good. Thank you. Alright, guys. Um, Hey, what's up? Yeah, you, you guys hearing me clear though? Because I'm on the road and I didn't want to really take on any. Let me make sure I'm the ring for my phone, the ring or two. I mean, if I turn off the ring, I mean, somebody call my phone. Yeah, give me that. Let me, let me turn off the ring. Turn off the ring, I'll say it now. Affect. Everything may I try to make affect the call. I look so tired. You see, I'm not sleep. Let me clean off the thing more. The thing look like it won't clean off some more. I'm not gonna stay long because um I'm gonna tell you I'm heading to the airport and it's kinda Turn left on Central Park Avenue. It's been a hectic weekend. I was trying to avoid talking about this topic, but um it, it's been crazy, like it's been crazy for me, crazy. Like more the people have understand say. But sit down every night. In half a mile. And it's like everything when we listen upon um Tanya Stevens interview everything is like it's, everything does it's like a nightmare for me because it is not easy to say what I'm about to say because you know when you want to say something for years and somebody said for them thing and you yeah, say oh my god it's like you know things ever happen to you in a life where you feel like say you alone but when people talk, I say, but Jesus have mercy, I know you alone. You know? So that's basically what happened wow. when my ear tell the story. Because mine is totally different. You know? My one is my one is a is a my one is, is life and death. Right now at this point, if me even talk right or so, me might have a start get bodyguard or something. You don't know. It depends, you know? So you know, everybody know Michael Dem. I've been in the music business for years now. I'll get to the point because um, we kind of look at traffic now still, so I kind of can't no sound like I'm moving. So, you know, I've been in the business for a couple of years. I started out um, at 16 year old. When I started out, I I was the youngest at the time. Um, then comes Patra. Then Patra becomes the youngest. Um, you know, so... I mean, coming out of high school, I go straight. I don't even go six farm because the way I'm anxious, I just want to go to the music. I want to go to the music. So I run out of school and I just head straight into the music business. I start going to the studio and I start go, you know? But <coughs> one of my first disappointment was when I started to go to the first studio in Tower Hill, the security guard, because it will happen to me now. I always hear about people have to sleep with people and sex and all these things to bus so i was already aware i came out i, I came out of school and going to studio with expectation and and and, and 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 i made up my mind that i'm gonna defend myself if, if i buck up on people like those so as for me i was very defensive when somebody approached me about trying to sleep with me for, you know in the music or try for you know whatever I'm, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to protect myself so I was very protective of myself anyway I remember I, used, I started going to a studio in Tower Hill and there was this tall security guard he was a security guard for the studio and he was he was asking me 
to sleep with him for months and months and and, and, I, and I, I, I was very defensive and I remember going there one day because this guy is tall and thick and tramped in the car you know all security car he's a security and that's a bad area and I remember because I keep being defensive him start lock me out and lock the gate now and say now come into the studio and you know what the guy did one day when I come there the guy took off him big boot the boot looked like him weigh about 12 I lick me on my chest with it, you know. I say, girl, for you now, give me no ray, ray, ray. You can't come to the studio. I said, Jesus Christ. Let them tell them my father come from Torres and him live around the corner. I mean, I tell him these things, you know. Right now, when my father hear him, go to say my wicked. Because I mean, I tell him nothing. And I remember I called the producer who owned the studio and I saw me have to end up a complaint because me as a person, things will happen to me and I keep it in, I keep it in, I keep it in. So at this time, by the time I called the producer, the pro I don't know what happened to him. Then they say I'm the bad boy and the ear and all these things and very, very, But me just, me just tell you some of the least, some of the least, you know? Oh, when when we started and 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 and, and, and the things then when we endure. So I kind of feel what the woman I'm going through and I kind of understand now because a lot of people link me from the other day and I tell me say how old for women have things but them friends for talk and it start to upset me and make me feel like me don't know if I got to dig up ants nest or I got to dig up what but you know it's like me I say no so I have to talk because it hurt me not sleep me I tell you the truth me not sleep because it's like me I say oh my god like you know it's like a nightmare because it make me relive it me I really live something where me never talk about. So me tell them about that we start. So me been going to studio when me book up on producers and people where so them like me. But me, me ignore me. As me tell them, when it comes to the sexual harassment, I was very defensive. And um I was I try not to dress certain way. Although people used to say, Oh you're sexy and you dress my inner shackle. Me try if me know me go stay late at studio, me put on long clothes and all these things. That's why the other day when a lot of people were saying, Oh, coffee look like she a lesbian and all these things. Me kinda did sit down. I told a lot of people say, Me know why coffee dressed that way then. Me know why she dressed that way that she just want to look like one of the man them and she don't want to be harassed. I tell a lot of people that. But people don't listen to me. Because of of things that I go through. You understand? And study the business. So when they say coffee dressed that way, that no people assume say, oh she a lesbian. No. Me kinda know so she have to just look a tomboy ish and try to protect herself. You understand what I'm trying to say? So moving on now. Me did it when I say top producer now. Did it with them wife and sitting and still at them said them want to sleep with me. And me, me, me get defensive. Me not do that. Me not do it. Me, me, me said, no, you're crazy, ray, 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 whatever. Then them son. Want to sleep with me? Then me said to them, say, no man. We not rich people. We not want poor me. That time I look a poor girl. I come from Portmore and I'm look a one clothes. If me no wash pan Saturdays, me not have no clothes to come out Monday morning. So me can't afford. If you no rich man pitting nah, no rich man that want us to just sleep with me, and then when then look, me look like me had stress out myself. So I was very protective of my sexual part of my body, you know? So that's why I don't find out, so with Macadam, enough people don't really help me, no bag of artists don't do no song with me, them drag me down, them this, them that, me not go to international level. So they make me start the pre in my head now, and I say, oh, most of the time when I help them female, them have to sleep with them. I remember artists, I talk about artists, I talk about like two years ago, me look for artists and say, do a song with me, huh? them say, boy, I tell you the truth, you have to give me a little pussy. You understand? Sorry my language, man, in life, but, me just, me just try to tell them some little things then me get to the point the serious part of what has been affecting me and me kind of glad Tanya come out so me find a little strength where me can talk about my own so me now come over here so me tell them to say nobody raped me or nobody this or nobody that but my one was very drastic my one is very right now me can come over the live today and me don't know what got happened to me but me have to talk because me never talk because I was paid not to talk that's how serious it is. I was paid not to talk. So right now, I walk with all my rags. I rag, yeah? don't know if I'm going to cry because I think I've gained strength and I get strong since I've been bullied all over the net. People disagree. People don't know what I got through. No, people don't know what I got through. Not music here. Yeah? Anyway, I'll skip over enough of the things then because I don't want it to sound drawn out because I want to come off quick. 
being in the music business, I always try to be independent. Anybody know about Capricorns? Capricorns will always try to make money and be independent. So my way to survive in the business and not being abused that I have to sleep with somebody to get money, um, I used I got I got, I got also dub plate. So during this journey, during this journey of hustling my dub plate, um, you know them tended the artists them big, you know. When I'm a boss, you know, big up Cape Town. Cape Town was always there for me. Very decent man. I can't tell you people. So me can look up to Cape Town. That man. The very good man. Professor Nut. Me have artists and me can big up. And every one of them terrible. You understand? Me go with Professor Nut for days on the road. And he was a very respectable person. And I, I sat around Cape Town house a lot. And he was very respected. Right? Um... So during them telling me I do the dub plate, them cable turn them used to give me free dub. We get dub plate from whole heap artists. So by this time you have artists them days, enough of them not get along. You know? Enough of them not get along. So one of the artists them, when me I beg him dub plate, he never can give me a dub plate yet. But when we go to the next artist, me get it. So me mostly so what the um, the artist when I really want to give me the dub plate I really film studio I hang out the reason why I hang out at that studio is because the producer the producer was very respectable to me and the owner for that studio I love him and everything and he used to take care of me even him I got vexed to you know when I talk to them because him, him begged me not to say nothing you know anyway me, me, I met my dub plate them and I met my dub plate them and these two artists they not get along none at all so I was in between the both of them I was in between the both of them and I remember one day I went to the, the other student, not the one that me always hung out with the artist when I now give me the dub plate, but I always have got other places. This artist not giving me the dub plate, they never mean to me, but me still at the studio because of the producer and I love the producer. So I remember now, me go to the studio, the other studio now and they are around there with the other artists, but they were you know every time through the two of them two artists them not get along enough artists not get along them time the whole heap artists in a friction so me did it now and one of the students me, me I get some dub plate from the artist and me I said John no me can't eat me look a food weekend and so me, me get me look a dub them now and me, me chat out chat out and hold me look a bus and uh, them time when I email song to people we just we have to get them on CD and sound man we have to send them to them or I never remember how it reached. And I well gone to my studio now because I said this and I hung out every year. I gone to the studio now, which part the artist there. When I really give me no dub, but me and the producer are good and I did some I record and they might show me like a good love. Otherwise, from not giving me dub. So I head out now and say, I gone to the studio now, gone, gone, hang out and, 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 um, and do what I have to do. But when I walk going to the studio, Mrs. on whole heap of tough face man because you know they know them tender the artists have them entourage. I don't even know. Artists have 20 men around them and whole heap of entourage. So me see this big old entourage with a man that look for me like me do something wrong. So me I say, what will me do? About 20 men in the studio ever full up a man in the I'm still one of the man that look for me weird and which part of the studio they want big old gate you know them high gate that will make out a high hand. And me just see gate lock behind me, plop. And me I say, I walk one. So sometimes the artists walk out. Hey girl, they run a studio. Run a studio, I deal with artists. Women are like, can you call up my name? And I mean, I say, what are you talking about? I just, I go a dub plate, I go look. And I beg a dub plate, I look at it, I don't want to give me something. I understand better. The artists never want you, I mean, I say, I don't know what the artists.